Okay, so now that we can add our items to local storage, which you can see down here in application and local storage, we have juice and milk. So I want to display those on the page. Now I'm going to create a function called get items from storage, and we're actually going to use that in a couple different places. So let's create that function. I'm just going to go, let's see, we have our add item to storage. I think what I want to do is move the add item to storage underneath the create button and create icon because those two kind of go with the add item to Dom. So we'll move that down here like that. Okay. And that's just my preference. You can put these wherever you want, but to get the items from storage, let's put that one. I guess we could put it right under the add items. So let's say function and call it get items from storage. And what I'm what we're going to do is pretty much what we did in the last video where we check to see if there's any in there. If there's not, we'll set a local array, empty array. If there is, we'll set a we'll set that array to uh, to whatever's in there. So I can actually copy from the add item to storage. We could actually just copy this. And then we could paste that in here, right? So we have let um, items from storage checking to see if it's null. If it is, we have putting in an empty array. If it's not, we're going to have an array of whatever's in storage. And then after that, we can just return the items from storage. All right. Now, since I did that, we could actually just Yeah, we could actually just use that up here now. So let's say let items from storage equals get item from storage and we can use const here now. And let's save that and let's make sure that that's that works as well. So we'll add here, let's say eggs and add item. Now you're only going to see eggs here because remember, it's just we're just adding it to the DOM. It's not going to show what's in local storage yet. But let's make sure that eggs got added and you can see down here. So eggs was added. So what I just did is a good example of dry of don't repeat yourself because there's there's no need to have all of these lines here and here when I can just simply set that to that function. Okay, so that's that's one of the the one of the programming principles that I really agree with uh, in most cases. I think a lot of 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 uh, clean code is preference, but I think that's one thing that is just objectively good not to repeat yourself. All right. Anyway, kind of going on a rant there. So now what we can do is to basically run this when the page loads, I'm going to create a new event down at the bottom or a new event listener, and I'm going to put that on the document itself. So we're going to say document dot add event listener. And the event that I want to listen for is Dom content loaded. And when that runs, I'm going to call a function called display items. Okay. And then what we can do is go, I'm going to have this be the, the first function here. So up above the on add submit, let's say function and display items. And I'm simply going to get the items from storage. So once again, we'll say items from storage, set that to the function, get items from storage. And then I just want to add those to the DOM. So what we can do is loop through items from storage. We're going to say dot for each. And let's say for each item, I want to then, uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, I want to then add the item to the DOM. So we'll call that function add item to DOM and pass in that item. And that's it. So let's save. And there we go. So when we come to the page, we see all the items that are currently in local storage. So if I were to delete, it's going to it's going to delete it from the DOM, but we haven't implemented removing it from local storage yet. So if I reload, then you're going to see that. Now, another issue we have, though, is that we can't see the filter and the, the clear anymore. So we have to check the UI again 
when we display the item. So let's say check UI, save that, and now we can see that we have the filter items. If we were to clear all these from the DOM, then those two elements will disappear. Okay, now the last thing I want to do in this video is instead of having down here, instead of having all of the event listeners and the check UI, instead of having that in the global scope, what I'm going to do is create an init, uh, init, an init function, which is to initialize. So let's put a comment here. We'll say initialize app, just so we don't have all this stuff in the global scope. So let's say function, um, call it init. And then we'll just paste that code in and then we'll just call a knit down here at the bottom and we should get the same result. So, I mean, you don't have to do this. You can have this stuff all in the global scope if you want, but I just want one thing, just just one initialize in the global scope. And then if you if you have something that you need to happen right away when the page loads, you can put it in this function. So in the next video, I want to make sure that we can actually delete these for good because right now we're just deleting it from the DOM. We also want to delete from local storage.